Welcome to Fremont. Good morning. Welcome to Fremont. Welcome to Fremont. It's showtime. Follow me. Three, two, one. Good morning, Fremont students. Welcome to Fremont and Nine. My name is Jose, but y'all know me as Fat Boy. Let's get right into the show. Now let's go to my team, the senior team, where we interviewed Ms. Gosser about the college classes. Hi, my name is Vanessa Ortega. I'm part of the senior group here in Fremont's Media. Today's segment, we will be interviewing Ms. Gossard on how to enroll into college classes. My name is Claudia Gossard. How can students enroll into the college classes and what is the process? Um, okay, so it's, it's actually a really easy process, uh, but before I get to how to enroll, I want to make sure that uh, all students understand that it's very important to consider taking college classes. Um, basically, they are free for any student in K-12. Um, to take any college classes. I had a student uh, a couple of years ago, actually a few years ago, who went to East Santa Barbara, and because she had had so many college classes, she started as a third year. So she skipped two years, uh, saved a lot of time, saved a lot of money. So it's a really good opportunity for you guys to uh, start your college career, get college credits, start your um, general ed courses, and it looks really, really good when you apply for college. So that's the importance, right? But I wanted to uh, let you know, you were asking me how to enroll? Yes. So basically, it's really easy. So what you do first, you go to a website. You could go to uh, Southwest, you could go to Trade Tech. This happens to be Southwest, lasc.edu. So you go over here, it says right uh, in, the in the front page here, it says um, class schedules. Okay, so I clicked on that, I already did it. So if you go to the class schedules, you'll see all the different classes that are being offered. And it, they're all free and available to students. Now, a lot of them are during the day, so obviously you can't take those. But there are some in the evening, and the evening classes are marked um, uh, in bold, right? There's also, uh, there's also um, online classes. There's a lot of online classes. There's, uh, you know, uh, English, uh, child development, um, psychology, astronomy, anthropology. So there's a lot of different options. And these are open also to students. I've seen kids take, you know, yeah, maybe history, uh, uh, criminal justice, psychology, sociology, lots of general ed courses. I have this little handy sheet that we have in all the uh, counseling offices that talk to you, uh, walk you through step by step on how to sign up for a class. Um, so make sure you get one of these. But um, what you do is you have to first apply to the college. Um, you have to apply. It takes about a 10 minute process. You don't need to put. You don't need to put your social. You don't need to have a social. Um, you go over here, and it takes about 10 minutes. They ask you for your name and your address. That's the process. Then there's this. There's a form called the K to 12 form, and the form is has to be signed by the parent, giving you permission to take the class, and you put in your student ID number for the college class. So it's really simple. Then you take this form to the to the uh, registrar's office in the college, and you're in. It's free. Okay. So I really encourage everybody here at Fremont to take college classes. They're really um, they're really valuable. What can students expect to learn or gain from taking these college courses? You know, there are a lot of courses that we don't even offer here at Fremont. So we have offered here at Fremont in the last few semesters, actually for years now, um, college classes after school. So we've offered things that we don't even offer here at Fremont, like child development. We're going to offer that uh, next semester. We've offered sociology, which we don't offer here at Fremont. So stu students can learn about psychology, uh, criminal justice, things that we don't typically offer, but things that are, you know, real world. Um, and you're going to learn a lot of uh, fundamentals. Um, and it's, it's going to help you to build on, uh, when you go to college, to build on your major. We are, I do want to uh, plug this one particular class that we're offering next semester. It's called Child Development. And it's going to be next semester here at Fremont. We need a lot of students. It's Mondays and Wednesdays after school, 3.15 to about 4.25. Mondays and Wednesdays uh, here in the second floor. Book is included, so it's free. Everything is free. Uh, and you get three college credits and five high school credits. So like this one for in particular, we, uh, we're going to offer next semester. And we do need a lot of students. So if, you can, if you're interested, it's open to any grade, any SLC. Um, you know, it doesn't, there is no GPA requirement, 
it's open to all students. So we want to make sure that everybody knows about this. And if you are interested in, in signing up for this class, come over to our, your counselor or to me, and then we'll help you to apply to the college and get you that K-12 form. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Great to hear and know where to go to get help for our college classes. We're going to roll over to our school events team who recorded the visit of the French consulate member. Hello, Fremont. This is School Event with you guys. Today we're going to go to a meeting with the French Council. My Global LA. Let's go. And I am very excited for our students. Uh, we all cannot wait to learn from each other. The students are looking forward to the many adventures and activities and the friendships that this new bond will create for all of us. Thank you. Applause, please. That worked fine. I want to introduce to you our uh, French consulate speaker, uh, Mr. Oliver uh, Enga. Uh, he is a uh, higher education and French language attaché. So, round of applause. <laughs> Hey Freeman, we're back. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. See you next time. Now here we go with sports, sports, sports. 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 Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, my name is Alexander Chai and I am from the sports department. This week we are going to cover the boys soccer team. Wednesday, November 4th, our boys varsity soccer team had an impressive victory over a tough opponent, Cleveland High School. After a hard-fought game, they were able to come out with that 2-1 dub. We want to give a special shout-out to the goal scorers, Cesar Rodriguez and Frank Zavaleta. Here we go with our SLC team to see what goes on in our school and meetings and to know about any upcoming events. Today we're going to introduce you what goes on at the SOC meeting. What was this lunch meeting about? So today's lunch meeting was about um, our upcoming events. So what we have coming up is a Change for Change campaign, which that helps the children in Ecuador to receive an education, which we put um, shoe boxes or tissue boxes in the offices or classrooms. And with that, we raise money for them, for a student to go to um, what are upcoming events? So the upcoming events that we have is our LSJ lunch event that will be um, next Friday. The setup timer is set, so I have what we're going to do every hour, every minute, maybe not every minute. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Fermanci, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm out. Thank you for watching the Fermanci, and don't forget to my team, the senior team, where we interviewed Ms. For the top. Great to hear and know where to go to get help for our college classes. Who recorded the visit of the French consul? Consulate member. Consulate member. 
We are going to roll over to our school events team who recorded the visit of our French Consulate member. Consulate. Consulate. Yeah. All right. Got it. Let us know about up. Subscribe and comment. And you, you disabled the comments. I wonder what happened to Brandon.